Right, welcome to the KICT CFT online facilitators course. The course is approximately 16 to 20 notional hours. We're going to run it and facilitate it over the next two weeks. And uh, on conclusion, you should be able to uh, effectively support teachers who need to do their professional development uh, uh, studies online. The KICT CFT course has been a success. We've piloted it twice. 100 teachers have gone through, but now we need to roll it out to a much larger group of teachers. Cohort three, for example, is going to be 150, and there's even talk of up to 22,000 teachers eventually. What it does mean, however, is that we're going to need a lot more facilitators. And uh, this course, we are hoping, will uh, help new um, personnel get up to speed quickly so that they can support the online learning. Right, what are we going to do? We're going to look very generally at how facilitation is different from teaching. Um, then we're going to start looking at the different roles and responsibility of a facilitator. First of all, and perhaps most obviously, they need to facilitate learning. Then we need to have a look at how a facilitator also needs to nurture the online, the social environment uh, in which learning must take place. Thirdly, we need a manager. We need someone who will chase up teachers, support um, uh, uh, the creation of the mark lists and the grades. Uh, and fourthly, you're going to need a little bit of technical know-how, a little bit of technical savvy. So we're going to look at all those four hats in the course and uh, prov hopefully provide you with some skills so that you can perform those functions. Um, my name is Andrew Moore. I'm based here in Johannesburg, but because it's all online, we can interact easily. Some of you I've known before, um, some of you are brand new, so it's great to have you all on board and um, let's see how this course goes.